Why you should not sleep right after eating? Many people want to know if they can fall asleep soon after eating a meal. Most people believe that going to bed immediately after eating is harmful. This makes logical sense to us. If we have anything in our stomachs, our bodies must digest it, making falling asleep difficult. Let's not forget about the potential weight gain that late night munching can cause. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. You know what? Go eat your grandmother's famous beef and mashed potato dish, or even a hard-boiled egg an hour before bedtime, but be ready to pay the consequences. The vast majority of people do not consume a regular dinner-sized meal before turning in for the night. It's the late-night snack addicts who should be most concerned. Take my advice, don't reach for those chips. So cutting long story short, here we have a number of reasons why you should not consider a bedtime snack. 1. The weight gain but nighttime has nothing to do with it. It's the high calorie cravings. It is not true that late night snacks or evening meals lead to significant weight gain. Because evening calories are the same as daytime calories. You acquire weight only if your daily calorie intake exceeds your daily caloric expenditure. So, if you eat too many calories before going to bed, you will gain weight. Here I have an instant example. If you're anything like me, you might get hungry right before bedtime. After a hard day at work, the last thing you want to do is make another full meal. It's far more convenient to eat something quick and easy that satisfies your hunger. This frequently takes the form of quick carbohydrates and bad fats, such as chips or pizza leftovers. These quick remedies will almost certainly increase your caloric intake, which must be watched if you wish to reduce weight. 2. You can't sleep peacefully. Not only will gastrointestinal problems keep you awake at night, but there's evidence that eating particularly fatty meals or drinking later in the day might make it difficult to fall asleep or obstruct you from obtaining a peaceful, deep sleep and lead you to wake up in the middle of the night. Not to mention, depending on what and how much you eat or drink before bed, you may need to get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. Then there are the nightmares. A late-night snack may raise your metabolism, causing your brain to become more active and maybe resulting in nightmares. If you're having a lot of vivid or disturbing nightmares, try not to eat so close to bedtime. 3. It's possible that your digestion will be at stake, not stake with the ye. You digest best when you're standing up, and gravity can help transport food down your digestive system. That's why, after a late-night meal, Lying in bed can cause stomach acid to flow back into your esophagus, causing acid reflux, which can be uncomfortable and prevent you from getting a decent night's sleep. Mainly the foods that cause reflux should be avoided before going to bed, spicy foods. High-fat foods like fries or baked goods, chocolate, coffee, alcohol can say anything that you have left in your fridge for your late-night plans. 4. Your blood sugar levels may vary. Another reason to avoid eating late at night is that processed, high-carb foods can induce harmful blood sugar rises, especially in persons with diabetes. According to the University of Michigan Health, this is because patients with diabetes don't create enough insulin to keep their blood sugar levels balanced, which can lead to periods of both high and low blood sugar. Snacks to avoid before going to bed include white bread and pasta, baked goods, chips, sweet potatoes, etc. While eating a high-carb midnight snack may worsen these concerns, eating a lower-carb option rich in protein and fiber will help moderate blood sugar changes that may occur overnight. Try these low-carb, high-protein snacks, hummus and vegetables, or chickpeas egg whites. 5. It's possible that your growth hormone levels will drop. Human growth hormone is a hormone produced by the pituitary gland that helps children develop and grow and repair tissue such as muscles and bones throughout their lives. HGH production is triggered by sleep, which is why so much of this growth and repair happens while you're sleeping. However, blood glucose surges caused by eating processed carbs and sugary snacks close to bedtime might lower HGH levels, reducing the health advantages. Hold off on midnight snacks or go for healthful. Low-carb snacks instead of trigger foods like processed delights to avoid under-secreted growth hormones. Greek yogurt, 
Nuts or nut butter are low-carb snacks to try. 6. Increase your stroke risk A small lapse in awareness on our side can lead to a major calamity, such as a stroke if you don't keep a time gap between your meal and night. So, if your eating schedule is too close to your sleeping schedule, be cautious. The greater the time difference, the lower the chance of a stroke. According to studies, every 20-minute gap lowers the risk of stroke by 20%. When we sleep right after a meal, our digestive system has to work overtime to complete the digestion process. This may cause dangerous blood sugar and blood pressure spikes, which raise the risk of stroke. 7. Unhealthy habits would develop, and I'm sure you don't want your kids to follow you. Because you didn't eat enough during the day, you'll become exceedingly hungry before night, right before your bedtime. This intense hunger can lead to a vicious cycle of overeating before bed, being too full to eat much the next morning, and then getting overly hungry before bed the next evening. This cycle, which can easily lead to overeating and weight gain, emphasizes the importance of having balanced meals throughout the day. 8. It will definitely affect your circadian rhythms. Some scientists believe that eating late at night interferes with your circadian rhythm, which is a 24-hour cycle that informs your body when to sleep, eat, and wake. Nighttime is for sleeping, not eating, according to your circadian clock. 9. Late night eaters feel more of an urge to consume more calories. One explanation for the link between late night eating and weight gain is that late night eaters tend to consume more calories overall because the more you eat, the more you crave for it. Why is that so? Well, it is said that at night you feel more emotional and release a hormone, ghrelin, known to be the hunger hormone, and it's also known as lenamorlin. It makes its way through your bloodstream to your brain, where it instructs your brain to become hungry and seek food. The primary function of ghrelin is to enhance appetite, so the only thing that comes to your mind against this hormone is food, and not just food, the one with the high calories. 59 persons were studied to see if there was a link between meal timing and overall calorie intake. People who ate their final meal closer to sleep consumed more calories overall than those who ate their last meal earlier. Another study discovered that persons who ate between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. consumed 500 calories more per day than those who ate during the day. The average nocturnal eater gained 10 pounds over time. 10. It's possible that your metabolism will slow down. Some experts believe that eating late at night slows your metabolism, although there is no evidence that this is always the case. According to one study, your basal metabolic rate at night is similar to that of the day, implying that you expend energy or calories while sleeping. It's possible that the link between a slowed metabolism and late night eating is due to overeating. For example, if you've already eaten supper and then the option for a high-calorie night snack, you can see how this could have adverse effects on your body. In the end, we would say, eating before going to bed might be unhealthy and hazardous to your health. You can consume nutritious snacks, but you should not eat a major meal for at least two to three hours before going to bed. Furthermore, you must make sure that your caloric expenditure is greater than your caloric intake. This way, late-night snacking will not cause you to gain weight or be nauseous. You'll feel a lot better in the morning as well. We hope you liked the video. If so, hit the like button and share it with your loved ones. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.